Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand options field in IPv4 header. So all these mandatory fields, all these mandatory fields has already been described in our previous videos. So uh, these mandatory fields we have already discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now let's try to understand about options field so what this options field is and how this options field will be is so whenever we have uh, apart from these basic fields uh, if you want to send an extra options there are different types of options that are available so based upon the requirement so we are uh, we are we have this space this uh, dynamic space of 0 to 40 bytes of space is allocated for options if if the uh, datagram that is being transmitted based upon the datagram if there is a requirement for us to have certain kind of options we can use this options fields so how this option fields can be accommodated is so it is going to be have so multiple options can be accommodated for example if you have if you want to accommodate two or more uh, options to be accommodated in one single uh, datagram then that is possible so one concatenated after the other so in that way the things will get uh, uh, arranged within these option fields so how that can be done is it can be done by using three different uh, fields for each and every option it is option type it is option type and next is option size and next is option data so if if another option you would like to insert another option also so after that again this kind of data will get arranged option type what what type of option that you are trying to insert and after that what is the size of that option that that has to be mentioned because after that if you have further data means that is the uh, that data belongs to the second option that is decided by this field and from here it is going to have the option data so this is how the options will get accommodated within this 40 bytes of space so let's try to understand one of the option where there is a, it is not required for you to know all the options and even this one of the option is also not required so for better understanding we are giving that that example it is a, a record route one of the option is record route so what it means is uh, and this is uh, uh, this is generally used by network administrator usually the packets the data that is being transmitted will not have such kind of record routes and all those concepts uh, all those options because these are uh, uh, it is it is it, it leads to security issues generally these options are not preferred by the regular packets that are being transmitted record route option is used by the net network administrators so what this record route is for example if you have source address and uh, here this is the destination system and within this source and destination it is going through for example if this is the route uh, through which the packet has been transmitted if this is the route through which uh, the packet has been transmitted and uh, you are going to record the route we are going to record that route so if this option is set within this option fields means within this option field means so what happens is as and when the packet so here the packet is getting transmitted so uh, in the option fields only this option type is set okay so in the next router so as and when the packet is received at the next router in the options field it is going to store so i am uh, so this is options field and these are the mandatory fields so in the options fields it is going to record the router record the router so at the destination the destination will understand that these are the routers through which the packet has been transmitted so whether uh, it, it is used by the network administrator to know whether the route that is being transmitted uh, is uh, uh, to know about that route so that is used by the network administrator so after receiving at the uh, r3 r2 so it is going to record r2 r1 and here it is going to record it is uh, r3 r2 r1 so at the destination after receiving it it is it, the destination will understand that 
R1, R2 and R3 are the routers through which this packet has gone through. So that information is going to collect and it is one of the option. As we are having 40 bytes of information, so how many IP addresses can be accommodated? Each IP address is of 4 bytes. Each IP address is of 4 bytes. And uh, uh, as we are having uh, now 40 bytes, we can acc accommodate 10. 10 IP addresses can be accommodated, but for this uh, uh, option type and option size, it is they are going to use 8 bytes of space. And this is also is going to use, uh, sorry, 1 byte one byte for this eight bit series so uh, option type is going to use one byte and option size is going to use one byte means eight bits so uh, if you if you remove these two bits uh, two bytes of space we are left with 38 bytes with 38 bytes we can accommodate only nine ip addresses nine into four each ip address is of four bytes nine into four 36 bytes is used third with 36 bytes uh, we can accommodate nine ip addresses and two bytes are used for type and size and uh, two two are left unused okay so this is how the option fields will work so the point here is you have to understand how these option fields can be so uh, not, uh, you should not know about what are the different types of options it is not required okay so for your in uh, for your information we have just noted all the different types of options that are available see here one of the option record route it is in short name option name is rr and there are different other options like source routing so we also have different other options which are regularly used so here strict source route so these are the different options that are available no need to know about all these options if you further want to know have uh, want to have advanced learning you can get those details from here it is a iana it is an authorized website there you can get all the options that are available okay so this is all about options field in ipv4 hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please Please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching